So what's going on guys, it is me the Cats, and today I am on the Minehut server. So if you look at the server list menu, the majority of servers are either generator servers or the box mining servers. So I thought we would try to create a box mining server and we're going to be doing it with the Minehut free account, which means we can only have a total of 12 plugins on the server. So it's really going to test my limitations on what I can actually achieve with 12 plugins. Now, a lot of the generator servers use a script and you can write custom scripts using Java and all that stuff, but I don't know how to do any of that. So I'm not going to be doing a generator server or using script or anything. I'm, so I'm simply just going to be downloading plugins, customizing the plugins for my box mining server. I'm just going to call it a prison server for my sake. But if we go to my server, join the cats, you can see everything that I have been working on here. So this is my test world and I'll kind of talk to you about all the plugins that I have installed and where I'm up to at the moment. So if we take a look at the plugins, um, the first one is auto pickup. Auto pickup is what we use when we mine blocks. So if I get a diamond pickaxe, for example, you can see that automatically puts the blocks in my inventory and it smelts them into stone as well. So that is how you do your mining. You mine blocks and automatically puts it into your inventory. If for example, you're mining an ore block. So let's take redstone ore, for example. You can see here that we have five in our inventory. Then we have nine. Then we have five. Then we have thing. So it automatically turns the redstone into blocks once you have collected nine or 10 of them. So that is one of the other features of auto pickup, which is a very handy little feature. And it also means that if you have multiple players in the same mine, you can't go around stealing other people's blocks. And then the next plugin we have is Essentials. Essentials is just the default plugin that we use for warps and spawns and all that stuff. The next one is Luck Perms. Now Luck Perms is our grouping and permission plugin. So if we take a look at all of the groups that we have, so we go LP uh, list groups, you can see here, these are all the groups and they're not necessarily in order, but the ordering for all the ranks is, I'll set myself to the top rank. LP user the cat's parent set obsidian. That is currently the top rank. And then if I go LP user the cat's meta info, you can see that I have a whole bunch of prefixes acquired from all the different ranks. So the ranking order will go stone, coal, iron, gold, redstone, lapis, diamond, emerald, netherite, obsidian. So there's 10 ranks currently so far. I am still considering, you know, adding more ranks after it. Or doing a prestige system but then again i don't know if i could do a prestige system um, because like i said i'm only limited to 12 plugins i just downloaded essential spawn so that i think that is the 12th plugin onto the server so when you first join the server you will receive a kit stone which will give you a stone pickaxe now if you look at the stone pickaxe you can see here that it has an unbreakable attachment at the bottom which means that you know if you want to mine blocks, it is not going to affect the durability of your pickaxe. Now that is important because obviously we don't want the pickaxes to break because then that would be very painful. And it also helps with how we upgrade our pickaxes. So if you wanted to upgrade your pickaxes and it had different levels of durability, it wouldn't work using the plugin that I have installed to do it. So to counter this, we have all our pickaxes which are set to unbreakable so we can upgrade them easier. One of the other things that we have on the server is world guard. Now world guard is used to create flags and regions. So let me just warp to the first mine to show you what I'm talking about. So with world guard, there is automatically a global region that is created. So if we take a look at the region, it is global and I have set the build to deny. So that means players that are non opt will not be able to grief anything within the world. Um, I can because I'm opt, but if you come here and look inside of this mine, I've created both a mine and I've also created a region within the same area. And if we look at this region, it is called stone. It has a priority of one. So the priority is above the priority of global, but players can build within this region. So that is how players are allowed to build within the region, but they can't build within the outside. So anyway, this is the first mine. I've set up two custom NPCs. We have a stone trader and we have a pickaxe upgrader. So if you wanna rank up from stone to coal, you need to come over to this dude. And these are the trades that he's offering. So 64 cobblestone gives you one compressed cobblestone. So if I come here and pretend I've got 64, you come over to this dude, click on this trade, 
and then we have one of our compressed cobblestone. Now we need 64 compressed cobblestone to receive a coal rank up token. The rank up tokens is what we use to rank up in the game. Um, I considered doing like a slash rank up plugin, but then that would require an, an economy and it would have got you know, a little bit more complicated, but we have a whole bunch of vouchers. So anyway, before we get into the rank up, you can also see here that we have a pickaxe upgrades, dude. So what we can do is we can take our default stone pickaxe, apply one compressed cobblestone, and then we get an efficiency two pickaxe. And then if you add another two, you get an efficiency two, another three, efficiency three, four for four. And this goes all the way down to efficiency eight. And you will need this pickaxe for the next mine. So you can't just skip it. But basically once you have this pickaxe, you can you know, mine everything a lot quicker. So if I enchant this, uh, efficiency eight, right now it is an efficiency eight pickaxe. You can see that it mines a lot quicker and you'll be able to get 64 times 64 cobblestone a lot quicker. One of the other things is if you fill up your inventory, right? So now I have two stacks of cobblestone. You can get two compressed cobblestone for two stacks. It just makes it a little bit quicker to upgrade everything. But basically, once you got 64 compressed cobblestone, we'll type slash more, so now we have it. You will receive a coal rank up token. And then if you right click the coal rank up token, congratulations, you have just ranked up to coal. And you can see that, well, I'm already on the obsidian rank, but let's do it again. Let's go user to cats, parent set stone, right click. And now we're on the coal rank. Cool, so once we've done that, we can warp over to warp coal, and then we have the coal mine. So then we have another two dudes here. We have a coal trader and a pickaxe upgrades. So I think for every single mine, we'll just have these two NPCs for now until we make it a bit more complicated. But basically the way you rank up is the whole getting compressed blocks, get 64 of them, and then rank up to the next rank. Now, I don't know if this is gonna be too repetitive, so I might add some more complicated elements further down the track, but I just wanna set up the basis of the server as we have it. Then we also have the pickaxe upgrades. So this guy, for example, he upgrades the pickaxe all the way to efficiency level 16. So you come over here and you can mine a bunch of coal. It's actually taking quite a while. But once you do that, come over to the coal trader, get some of that, and then you come over to this guy and you can upgrade your pickaxe all the way up. And this goes all the way up to efficiency level 16. So let's go a bit, chant efficiency 16. Now you can see we have efficiency 16 and it mines up pretty much straight away. But remember, it is still a stone pickaxe. So we can still upgrade this thing to iron and diamond and gold and literally whatever we want. Probably not gold, but netherite as well. Actually, I forgot about that one. Anyway, once we do that, and once we have all the uh, compressed stuff that we need, now he has 64 and we can get an iron rank up token. And we use the iron rank up token. And you can see now that we have the iron rank. So if we go warp iron, now we have an iron mine. Iron mine is all iron block as well. Again, you can trade up to gold. So we go voucher, give rank up gold. So once we have that, we can rank up. And now we have ranked up to gold. So let's go to warp gold again. This is all the same. So after this one, we can go to warp redstone. Now this one gets a little bit more different because in one of the previous mines, we will be applying the fortune enchant to the pickaxes. You're more likely to get more redstone from a piece of ore, you are a block. So once you do that, after this rank is lapis rank, warp lapis. Now lapis has the same concept using the ores and the blocks. I haven't actually set this mine up yet for some reason. Warp diamond, uh, warp, Emerald, Warp, Netherite, and then Warp, Obsidian, which I haven't set up yet either. But those are the different mining levels. And uh, yeah, that is pretty much the basis of the server, how it's running at the moment. If I look at the menu, again, you can see we have Mine Reset Light. Mine Reset Light is how we create our mines. Now, let me give you a tutorial on how to set up a mine. So what we wanna do is go over to our testing world and uh, let's go into GM1, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna select this entire box. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a mine. We're gonna call it MRL create test. So let's set up the flags first. So we'll go MRL flag test and then we'll go reset 
delay one. So that means this mine will reset every one minute. And the other one is we'll go silent false, which means it will, when it resets, it'll send out a notification saying that it has reset. All the other servers have it silent, but this one will not be silent just so you guys can see. And what we're gonna do now is we are going to set basically what blocks we want in this thing. Let's go into the inventory, right? And let's just pick two random blocks, right? Let's just pick stone and diorite. What we can do here is we go MRL uh, set test stone zero, and then we'll set it uh, 50%. Cool. And now we'll do a diorite 50% as well. Or, oh, you just saw it upgraded, but it was 50% air as well. I was going to say 40% diorite. And then the last percentage, we will do sponge. So there we go. Now it's all set up. The mine is 0% empty, so the entire thing is full. Now, uh, if we do MRL reset, we can just reset it manually. You can see now that it is diorite, stone, and 10% sponge. That is how we set up all the mines. And then, like I said, we also want to create a world guard region around it. So, for example, you can see here that we have a global flag. Now, this is a different world to the main world, so the same flags aren't here. But if we go RG flag, uh, global build deny. Cool. Now we also have this world guard region selected, so we're going to create another region. So we go RG create test, RG flag test build allow, and RG priority test one. So now we have a region within this box. One of the things that's going to happen in this is if we mine into it, right? And then this mine resets, where do we go? MRL reset test. So it resets and then it puts us on top. But what if we don't want to be put up on top, you know? What if we want to be placed here on this green block? What we can do is we go MRL set TP test. I think, yeah, that's it. And if we come back in here and we do another reset and we're inside the box, it'll put us here where we want it. So anyway, if I deal myself now, all right, so now this entire area, I should not be able to interact with the world at all. And I can't. See, it says you cannot place that block here because this is all within the global region, which I cannot interact with. I do that, but this region here, which has a higher priority than the entire world, I should be able to mine into, which I can. That is how we have the mine set up. Now let's take a look at how the whole mine hut dashboard works. So this is the main screen. Um, I'm not going to be able to change any of the icons because I need to have a premium Minehut account. So I'm literally just stuck with this default sign, which is a bit lame. I'm kind of hoping that when I stream, I get a whole bunch of players to play on it and then that will boost it into the rankings. But what I just want to type is Opticats and now you can see that I am Opt. So this is the server console. Um, we have a message of the day. I haven't set that yet. And then basically there is a settings tab, which... I don't really look at the plugins tab. So you can't upload your own plugins. You have to literally use the ones that are available here. These are all the plugins that you can download or install onto your world. Say you wanted to install, you know, world edit. See, world edit is here and then you can click on it, go to the website to test out the information and then click add or remove the plugin. So literally that is all the plugins. Then we have the file manager. Um, again, because it is Minehut and it is like a shared network, you cannot like log in directly using like an FTP source or anything. You literally have to do it through this dashboard and you can also not really upload any of your own files into it because obviously Minehut is very protective of their servers and whatnot. But these are, you know, all the plugins folder. So this is the plugins folder here. These are all the worlds. This is the mine world. Um, if you want to import worlds, you can do it by clicking on world and then importing a file or um, importing a link to the file. That is what I ended up doing. And I use Multiverse to teleport between the two worlds. So if I look at Multiverse here, we go MV list. You can see here we are in the flat world, but then we have the UL underscore mines is where all the mines are because I downloaded the mine world um, and then I import it onto the server. So you can teleport between different worlds using Multiverse. So if we go MVTP UL mines, right? It'll take you to this world here. 
you can see here these are a whole bunch of custom you know mines that i ended up downloading i think i bought this um entire world for like five bucks so pretty good deal it's given me like 30 different mines so i got lots and lots of things to choose from but yeah this is the default world and then basically once i have you know i have set up a whole bunch of warps so i can warp to you know wherever i want uh is easy as just typing slash warp so don't have to worry about you know multiverse commands and whatnot um because we're going to be using warps to teleport to different places but then if you come in here you can see that these are all the plugins that i have currently installed I don't know why crazy enchantments is here. I don't have that installed, but we have basically auto pickup um, essentials and there's three plugins for essentials. There is the essentials core, essentials chat, and essentials spawn. So that's four plugins total. Lock perms, five, mine reset, six, multiverse, seven, shopkeepers, eight, bolt, nine, vouchers, 10, welded, 11, and world guard, 12. So that is all the different plugins that we have. So one of the mechanics I'll run you through, which I think is really interesting, is how we do the upgrades, and that is using vouchers. So let me show you how you create a voucher. So let me just get a voucher, for example, give rank up iron. So this is the iron voucher. It is, you know, a sunflower, and it has a whole bunch of custom text and all that, and that has been set up using the plugins called vouchers. So if we open up the vouchers plugin, I will show you the configuration file to show you how it's all set up. I basically just copy pasted all of them and then changed the text, but let me just find one. We have here, rank up iron, item sunflower, name, that's the name, uh, the law, which is the text below. So use this voucher to rank up to iron, right click to apply rank, uh, player, not interested in that, the glowing true. So there is a glowing effect on the sunflower. So, you know, it kind of looks enchanted. Um, and then the commands that it runs is it runs LP user player, that's you, parent add iron. And this is run through the console when you right click it. So the console will run this command, which basically just puts you into the iron rank. Then there's also the options. So you'll get message. It says, you know, congratulations, you have just ranked up to iron. Um, whitelisted worlds. Um, I'm not interested in that. I'm happy for you guys to upgrade yourselves in whichever world you want. But then there is also permissions. So you need to have this voucher.rankup.iron. So the rank before iron is coal. So if you take a look at the coal rank, so if we go LP group coal permission info, you can see that it has this permission so that you can rank up to iron. Basically what that means is if you are in the coal rank, for example, you cannot get a voucher for the diamond rank and upgrade because you won't have the permission to use the voucher. So we have an iron rank up here and let's just set ourselves to the bottom rank. So we'll go LP user the cat's uh, parent set default. So if we take a look at the default rank, so we go LP group default permission info, you can see here that we only have a rank up for coal and iron. So I'm actually going to remove the iron one because that's before I installed the coal rank. But if you take a look at it now, you can see that you can only rank up to coal from the default rank, which means this thing here shouldn't work. So the first thing I'm going to do is deop myself. And now you can see here that I'm deop. So if we right click this, you do not have permission to use that voucher. One of the other things I have set is within the world region. But if I go RG flags, I want to disable item drop. Now item drop is disabled. So if I deop myself again, you can see now, and it might take a little bit to apply. Yeah, so now I can't drop blocks. So one of the reasons for this, so I don't want, you know, higher level players coming into this world with their super fast pickaxe and then giving a newbie all the stone that they need to rank up. But then one of the things that I came to realize is that, you know, once they rank up, so if they get off of this stone level and they go into the gold level, then their inventory will have some like leftover stone items which they won't be able to get rid of. So to combat that, I am using an essentials disposal sign. You literally just open this and you pop in all the crap that you don't want and then it disposes it to the server. So you just gotta make sure you don't uh, dispose your pickaxe because that would be fatal. Then you'd probably have to start all over again. Uh, one of the things I was considering doing is having a whole bunch of kits for like all the different ranks. I think like if you reach, uh, you know, you know, coal rank, then you can have a kit which will give you, you know, the efficiency eight pickaxe. 
you know, in case you like lose it or something, I might have a kit that gives it to you like every 24 hours or something, just in case, you know, players screw up. But yeah, that is all of that. The next thing is like the shop creepers. So this is a plugin called shopkeepers. And I think this is a really handy plugin. So basically I have set up a bunch of these for trading items and ranking up and whatnot. So we have compressed cobblestone. Literally the way I got this compressed cobblestone is by going, by spawning it in basically. So I go I uh, cobblestone uh, 64 and then I name it white bold and then I go name it compressed cobblestone. And then I also want to give it an unbreaking so that it is glowing. So that is how I have created it. So the way you set up these villager dudes is with the shopkeeper plugin. So all you literally do is you type slash shopkeeper and it spawns in a default villager and then you can customize it by shift right clicking. And this is the shopkeeper editor. So these are the blocks that you get and then these are the blocks that you need to trade it with. So one stack of cobblestone gives you one compressed cobblestone, two stacks of cobblestone gives you two compressed cobblestone and 64 compressed cobblestone gives you one coal rank up token. So you can literally just, you know, pluck and place whatever items you want. You can trade a, you know, wooden axe for this damaged diamond pickaxe. And you can see that it is here. So this is a really versatile and easy to use plugin. And then you can also change the shop name, change the profession, change the color and all of that good stuff. But this is how we are doing all the villages. And yeah, it's a really, really easy plugin to use. Um, I've also set up a bunch of staff ranks again I have not set up like any of the permissions yet so that is something I still need to do set up permissions um, I still need to set up all of these pickaxe upgrades properly so if we go to like warp iron because I initially had it to from stone to iron this guy has a whole bunch of thingies here as well but we need to reset him as well uh, if we go warp gold you know this guy hasn't been set up at all. So we need to set up all of the pickaxe upgrades. Uh, we still need to you know, configure all the permissions. We need to get a spawn as well. So do a whole bunch of you know, info. We need to do the message of the day. And yeah, that is basically it for the agenda, I think. This is kind of the progress I have made on the server. I think it's pretty good progress. I probably spent you know, about eight hours or so in total working on this server. And remember, it's 12 plugins or less. But basically my goal with this is to, you know, finish it all up and then play on it during a live stream. And then we can get a whole bunch of people to join the server as well, which should boost it onto the little rankings. So if we go to the, you know, the Minehunt lobby, you can see here um, that the top servers, like this bottom one here has 13 people playing on it. And then the next page has, you know, seven people playing it. So that basically means, you know, if I stream, I can at least get, you know, 10 people or so playing on my Minecraft server, which should really boost the rankings. And, you know, it can probably become, you know, one of the top servers on Minehub. That's really my main plan, but that is my progress. So if you want to join the world, you just type join to cats. Um, the, the whitelist is still on, so you won't be able to actually join, but I'm hoping to have this all set up, you know, within a week or so. And I might even play it a bit on live stream coming up soon, but that, yeah, that's all my progress. For this server at the moment um, if you guys have enjoyed this video let me know in the comments below i know that my um my prison making videos have been really popular recently so this is kind of like a prison making video as well um but it's it's actually like technically called like a box mining but i don't know it's a it's my prison no it's not box mining it's prison this is my prison world on Minehut with 12 plugins or less so yeah if you guys want to see a part two make sure to like this video 10 likes for the next part and uh, I'll catch you all guys in the next video. Peace.